Good afternoon, guys. I know it's been a really long time. Happy hump day. Um, I wanted to share this board game with you. This is one of my favorites. As you can see, it's Cluedo, a.k.a. Clue. I'll say a little bit about the history, and then we'll get into this version of the game, which is now owned by Hasbro, because it was brought out from Parker Brothers, so they now own Parker Brothers, which I didn't know about until I bought this version of the game. And this was released in 2015. I got it off of Amazon.com. I think they have like this global partnership um, sort of thing, so they sort of import games from other countries, which is pretty awesome, because this was only, this version was only released in like England and like Australia for some reason. Um, and the difference with this one is, not only is it now for two to six players, and for ages eight and up, but it also features from the back of the box, you can see a little bit of it, it has detailed figurines of the suspects. So that's one of the major differences. Um, America didn't have this until like 2007, I believe, when they had the painted figurines that are also like a vinyl material. And these look more like plastic slash vinyl. Um, it also comes with two dice and some of the dice have hourglasses on them. And that's because it also includes clue cards, which I'll explain to you about in a minute as well. Um, the American version of this game only had nine. Sorry about the glare, by the way, but they only had nine clue cards, and for some reason, this had 20 more, so I feel bad for, like, the American release of this because, you know, they kind of miss out a little bit. There's also a new suspect added to the genre. Um, it's Dr. Orchid. They play, misplaced Mrs. White, or replaced Mrs. White who apparently was deceased somehow. I think she's a ghost in another game, um, which is also sold on Amazon. And it's connected to Alexa somehow, which I thought that was interesting. But as you can see, like the suspects are definitely fresh and younger, which I also liked about this version. And um, they also have a internet game version that you can download on Steam that has the same character creations as this, the same design. So Miss Scarlet is blonde and young. Even Professor Plum looks like charming and young in this. Although I wish she was kind of like a redhead like they did on the 2007 version. Just to add more flavor to the game, I guess. Colonel Mustard is probably the oldest looking player, but he looks great. Like I love, love the design of this one. Of course, he's wearing his cravat or cravat however you pronounce it. Mrs. Peacock is far younger as well. She looks really pretty in this game too. Mr. Green sort of reminds me of Matthew Perry from Friends, if you remember. He kind of looks like him. And then there's Dr. Orchid, who looks Asian, which is funny because, like, the original clue, I believe, Miss Scarlet is Asian. So that was an interesting tidbit. So this one is made in Ireland, and there's another part of the box that says something about the distribution. So Hasbro Gaming, names are logos and trademarks of Hasbro, Matru manufactured sorry, by Hasbro, distributed in Australia by Hasbro Australia. So I thought that was interesting, like only distributed in... Australia and these other symbols on it so a little bit of history on Cluedo not to bore you guys but I just thought it would be nice to add a little something so apparently according to my Google research um, Cluedo known as Clue in North America is a murder mystery game for three to six players depending on additions that was devised in 1943 by a man named Anthony E. Pratt from Birmingham, England. The game was first manufactured by Waddington's in the UK in 1949. So it wasn't released um, because of like post-war so shortages, I believe. And 
Anthony E. Pratt patented the game in 1947, but it wasn't released until 1949. Simultaneously, um, from Waddington, which is a, a UK-based gaming manufacturer, um, and Parker Brothers as well, which I think is like the US version of Waddington's. I don't know if there's any more connection other than that, but they're obviously Parker Brothers is brought out by Hasbro now. So, but yeah, so 1943 was devised, patented in 1947, released in 1949. The original version I was introduced to when I was about like 10 to 12 years old was probably the 1986 one. Um, and I got that at like a, a rot age many years ago and I was obsessed with it. And it became my favorite game instantly. I love the mansion on this. The artwork is really cool. So definitely like the, the design of the box. It's really smaller too. It looks bigger on camera, but it's a smaller box. And I'm going to pause this to show you the board and the rest of the components. So I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm back and here we have the actual game board with a new design, which I think, oh, sorry about the blur. It looks very blur. I'm going to try and get it into focus. This is the lounge, but it's starting to look more and more blurry. There we go. That's weird. I'm still working with my camera. I really like the hall. It almost looks 3D in the camera. Like it doesn't look as 3D in person, I guess. Maybe it's the lighting. I don't know. But I think the hall is like my favorite room and on this board. I wasn't too thrilled about it. There's certain rooms that I don't like the look of because everything is digital. Nothing's like really hand drawn anymore, but they did a pretty good job with this version. And I like that the secret passages have like a little no cheat design. And of course, like stairs leading down as opposed to like the original. I don't think they had this in the 1986 version. And there's a library with the wrench in it. It's a billiard room. conservatory I like the old school one better as well this is because it looks more like a greenhouse but this is nice too different design this is a Tudor home in this version there's the ballroom with the revolver and the kitchen with the dagger which this is from a different version of Clue as well. It's not from this version, so I don't want you to think. Even the rope is not like from this version because it's like the same plastic white rope you get with the other versions of Clue. The dining room is my least favorite room because the area rug looks too small for it, but I like the inclusion of the wine and the, the spilled glass. I don't like the dining room table. It's facing the wrong way. It should be like horizontal as opposed to vertical in this ver in this version of the game. It just doesn't look right to me. And the detailed figures, which Scarlet always goes first. So I'll show you to her. I think her hair looks awesome. This is probably my favorite um, depiction of Scarlet as far as like the tokens. So I've collected the other rare Clue board games, Cluedo board games from Waddington's as well. But this is the one I want to show you because it's the most recent and probably the newest version of a game that I love and own. Colonel Mustard. Looks like he's wearing suspenders. And they have a plastic base. I'll have these cool plastic bases. Dr. Orchid. I like her haircut and her, her outfit. She's got a little sassy pose there on the head, hand on the hip. So I don't know why um, they didn't release these in the American version of this game. I mean, why not? 
Mr. Green. He looks like he's ready to take off. In this version, he's a reverend. I think all the UK based versions, he's always like a, a pastor or reverend. Which is interesting that they changed that as well in the American versions. He's just known as Mr. Green. But even on the board, he's Rev Green. Mrs. Peacock, who looks far younger than she ever did in her life. Her long tresses. She looks like she's holding uh, some kind of flashlight or something. Maybe to look for clues in the Tudor house. And Professor Plum. I really do like his look though. It says 2015 on the bottom of it. Hasbro made in China. And here goes the dice and the inclusion. So if you roll, basically, you know, you play the game the same. The difference in this one is that like when you roll a hourglass, wait, that's not even an hourglass, sorry, a spyglass or a magnifying glass. If you roll one of these, it's counted as one and you get to pick up a clue card, which, you know, is different from the suspect cards as well. Like the back of it looks like the board a little with the shadows and the, the Tudor mansion. And then here you just have the spyglass. So. Difference being that this is the lounge. That's another thing. I don't like the close up images of the room. It's just like literally focusing in on a little small part of the room with the word lounge going across it and they're all like that i don't like that on the cards I, I wish that they just depicted the actual room on the card or something don't know why they did that and then the clue card will say something like what happened which you have to read out loud that's curious colonel mustard is limping anyone holding the colonel mustard card must reveal it and leave it face up in front of them so this is a fun, quicker way around the game. Um, sometimes it takes long to get to a room, but not with two dice too much. Um, the original had only one dice, and it was like it took a lot longer to get into rooms. I feel like even the squares on the board in the Tudor halls were like bigger in the original as well. Of course, you're entering through the same doors. Um, you can't move diagonally still. That hasn't changed. Um, so yeah. This is Cluedo.